Let's talk about one of the craziest travel trends in recent years, and that is expedition cruises to Antarctica. Not your average vacation spot, right? So yes, Antarctica, the icy land on the bottom of the globe, the seventh continent that most of us only see in nature documentaries. It feels so distant, right? Like who actually goes to Antarctica? But here's the crazy thing, now you can, and it's actually more accessible than you might think. So let's talk about getting there. The easiest way is to fly into Buenos Aires, Argentina, or Punta Arenas, Chile. From there, you catch a flight to Ushuaia, which is the gateway to Antarctica. Next, let's talk about the Drake Passage. This stretch of water between the southern tip of South America and Antarctica is infamous for being one of the roughest seas in the world. It's not for the faint of heart. You'll likely encounter some serious waves in motion, but it's all part of the adventure. Most travelers say it's a rite of passage. Just make sure you're prepared with seasickness meds as these swells can get up to 40 feet. Whew, not gonna lie, that would be a tough one for me. Now for my top three options to get there. If you're the adventurous type, Hurtigruten is a name you'll want to remember. These guys are all about getting you up close and personal with the wild side of Antarctica. You'll get to hop on Zodiac boats and cruise up close to towering icebergs, visit penguin colonies. They even offer overnight camping on the ice. How wild is that? But a heads up, many of these activities are chosen by lottery, so you might not get to do everything on your wish list. But if you're cool with that, it's a pretty epic way to experience Antarctica, and it won't completely wreck your wallet. Now, if luxury is more your style, let's talk about Silver Sea. Silver Sea takes the concept of expedition cruising to the next level with all-inclusive luxury. After a day of exploring, you'll return to your plush suite, complete with your very own butler who can pack and unpack for you, enjoy gourmet meals, and sip on a perfectly paired wine. One guest favorite is the guided nature walks led by expert naturalists. Plus, Silver Sea's ships are smaller, so you get a more intimate experience, which means more personalized service and access to spots bigger ships can't reach. It's kind of like having your cake and eating it too. Adventure, but make it comfy. Okay, parents, this one's for you and really is one of my favorites. Adventures by Disney in partnership with Ponent Ships. Now, don't worry, this isn't all about Mickey and Goofy showing up in Antarctica, but they do have some fun, family-friendly touches. Like they'll take you to Deception Island, which is this crazy place with black sand beaches that's actually a volcano. And yeah, you're in Antarctica, but Disney still makes it feel magical with things like crafting little penguins out of yarn or pajama movie parties while you're crossing the Drake Passage or this insane Arctiki party where people are actually swimming. I hope that's a hot tub. Not only do you get to explore one of the most remote places on earth, but you do it in a way that's fun and educational for the whole family. Think of it as creating a lifetime of memories while helping to protect the planet. It's the kind of trip that shows your kids the importance of conservation all while they're having the time of their lives. Just make sure they're at least 10 years old because you know, Antarctica isn't exactly Disneyland. A few more things to keep in mind. These expeditions typically last around 10 to 20 days, depending on the itinerary. You want to book it one to two years in advance. You'll spend several days at sea, but once you arrive, the real magic begins. Remember, the weather can be unpredictable and the itinerary may change on the fly, so flexibility is key. Now, I'm not an expert on Antarctic cruises. To be frank, I don't think I could go on one. But I'm here to bring awareness to these three incredible companies that I would recommend for anyone considering this extreme adventure. They are the true experts, each offering a unique way to experience the white continent. It's a place where human interaction with the natural world can actually create good thanks to the lack of man-made infrastructure. So I gotta ask, would you do it? Reach out, let's talk about how to make this bucket list trip a reality. And don't forget to follow for more travel tips and inspiration.